Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelorette official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Joan Vessos gave out her last rose at the end of the Golden Bachelorette Season 1. But did Pascal Igboy permanently shatter her self-confidence? Over the past five years, Joan, a 61-year-old Maryland private school administrator, has experienced a lot. Before he died in 2021, she was wed to John Vassos for 32 years. John was loved by John, and the two of them had four children before he was diagnosed with cancer and passed away. Joan struggled to accept the significant loss and was devastated by the unanticipated loss. Joan joined the cast of The Golden Bachelor season one after she had made the decision to give love another shot. She got along well with Jerry Turner, 72, but she had to leave the season early due to a family emergency. When Joan was chosen to be the Golden Bachelorette and presented to 24 unmarried golden men, her bachelor adventure proceeded. Joan offered her last rose to 60-year-old Chop Chapel after a season of dating, but only after Pascal Igboué, 69, devastated her self-esteem. Joan might never feel confident again after Pascal rejected her. But Pascal piqued Joan's interest from the first season of The Golden Bachelorette. His French accent and flair captivated her. Pascal's inclusion in Joan's final three, along with Chalk and Guy Gansard, age 66, was not unexpected. They went on overnight dates, but after a bonding ritual that terrified Pascal, and caused him to doubt his genuine affections for Joan, things started to go wrong. In a scene that Bachelor Nation uploaded to YouTube, Pascal sobs as he tells Joan that he removed himself from the competition because he considered her a friend. But the Golden Bachelorette experienced a crisis of confidence as a result of Joan's relationship with Pascal ending painfully. Joan told a friend in the season final that she felt unlovable because of Pascal's self-elimination. She began to doubt being on a program altogether, and she began to worry that she would never experience true love again. It's unknown if Joan will ever get over Pascal's rejection, even though she found love on the show. Chuck Chapel and Joan Vessos from The Golden Bachelorette are shown grinning in a montage with flowers in the backdrop. Kizar Garcia created the custom image. The Golden Bachelorette lead pulled together despite feeling awful about Pascal's rejection. Chuck received Joan's last rose. She may still doubt herself and her judgment, even though she recovered from Pascal's rejection sufficiently to allow another guy in. Joan deserves to be happy after everything she's been through, and perhaps Chuck will be the guy she needs him to be. The Golden Bachelorette experienced a crisis of confidence as a result of Joan's relationship with Pascal ending painfully. Joan told a friend in the season final that she felt unlovable because of Pascal's self-elimination. She began to doubt being on a program altogether, and she began to worry that she would never experience true love again. It's unknown if Joan will ever get over Pascal's rejection, even though she found love on the show. Chuck Chapel and Joan Vessos from The Golden Bachelorette are shown grinning in a montage with flowers in the backdrop. Cesar Garcia created the custom image. The Golden Bachelorette lead pulled together despite feeling awful about Pascal's rejection. Chuck received Joan's last rose. She may still doubt herself and her judgment, even though she recovered from Pascal's rejection sufficiently to allow another guy in. Joan deserves to be happy after everything she's been through, and perhaps Chuck will be the guy she needs him to be. Pascal Edgue, who eliminated himself from consideration for the popular ABC series Golden Bachelorette Season 1, is now talking about his life after the program. Pascal was a divisive figure on the show. Because of his big nature, some individuals can find him too much. Pascal may come out as overly assertive and talkative to those who value a really gentlemanly manner. But before he abandoned her on TV, he took Joan with him. 
He said that producers advised him to break up his choice to severing their relationship and bowing out to producer meddling. His acts caused Joan pain and damaged her self-esteem. She rallied, though, and concentrated on the other guys she liked, such as the domineering Chop Chapel and the contentious Guy Gansard, whose restraining order drama is currently in the news. It's for the best, then. After the show, he keeps himself occupied, so it's time to discuss his recent activities. Ben Pascal, a 69-year-old hairdresser, has been providing interesting details about his life after the program. He didn't receive Joan's last rose, but then again, he didn't really want it. He included an Instagram post with a group photo from the men's tell all as a proper send-off. The men appeared content in the photo, for once, they weren't actually competing. That does not, however, imply that there were not any noteworthy dramatic revelations. Pascal also arrived with a clean-shaven face and a slight makeover. Charles Lang, Pascal's costar, seems to be the tell-all fan favorite. He received nearly riotous applause, and it's probable that his reaction will land him a spot on the Golden Bachelor. But Pascal also has a chance. His lack of sentimentality makes him an intriguing pick. The fact that Pascal referred to Chalk, one of Joan's favorite suitors as a stalker, in an interview with Glamour, was divisive. Indeed, Chalk is clingy, he is the kind of person who never leaves a romantic partner. But Chalk has his advantages. He is assertive, he decides on a course of action and pursues it. Instead of overanalyzing and complicating everything, he is straightforward. Chuck's body language conveys his emotions. He maintains his proximity either to demonstrate his control or to be near Joan. There aren't many other explanations for his behavior than the fact that he feels insecure because so many other men are attempting to achieve the same objective. But according to the extra TV clip above, the Golden Bachelorette star is having a great time, but he is sorry for hurting Joan. He claimed to have been pressured to do it, but in reality, he was not forced to. Perhaps it would have been better to have an open discussion that was a little softer and gentler. When it was all over, she didn't feel good about herself, so obviously he could have done a better job. Everyone must live with life as it is, and no one can unring the bell. Nevertheless, life is long, hopefully, and Pascal is making the most of it. In addition to fixing hair and hanging out with friends, the Golden Bachelorette star shares relatable ideas, like us complaining about chores. Pascal isn't exactly a hero, but he's also not a complete villain. He has a unique combination of qualities that could make him an intriguing but improbable Golden Bachelor. His candor makes him a potential star if given the opportunity. He claimed to have been pressured to do it, but in reality, he was not forced to. Perhaps it would have been better to have an open discussion that was a little softer and gentler. When it was all over, she didn't feel good about herself, so obviously he could have done a better job. Everyone must live with life as it is, and no one can unring the bell. Nevertheless, life is long, hopefully, and Pascal is making the most of it. In addition to fixing hair and hanging out with friends, the Golden Bachelorette star shares relatable ideas, like us complaining about chores. Pascal isn't exactly a hero, but he's also not a complete villain. He has a unique combination of qualities that could make him an intriguing but improbable Golden Bachelor. His candor makes him a potential star if given the opportunity. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.